Okay. Hello and welcome back to part nine of my Splinter Cell Chaos Theory retrospective. Uh, we are nearing the end of the game here. Um, we are about to start the bathhouse level in Japan. Uh, this is, if memory serves, one of the best levels in the game. Uh, it's really good. A little lengthy, but uh, it's a great mission. So we're going to start this up without much further ado, and let's just get into it. Um, we, we are getting near the end here. Uh, unfortunately, I've been gone for quite some time. Um, just kind of wasn't feeling streaming this week, and... Uh, just haven't really gotten around to it but um i'm back now and uh we're gonna we're gonna cap this game off we got this level and one more so there are 10 levels in chaos theory which actually makes it the longest i believe it is definitely the longest one or so of the first three either conviction or blacklist might be the actual full longest okay so we had just figured out that uh francis cohen was in the area so that's cool our goal, we have to do something for her. Gain entry in the bathhouse, discover who Shetland's contact is. Tap the bathhouse phone lines. That's what we're doing for Cohen. Alright, cool. Let's see if I can remember the controls right quick. Ooh. DSL. Make sure there's no interference. Why? Is Shetland setting up a network? Yeah. Something he calls a shadow net. Portable wireless network. O operates between standard Wi-Fi frequencies. Almost impossible to tap. Thanks for your help. No problem. <laughs> Please. I'm just a contractor. The faces look so much better in this game now that we enabled like that that uh, the, those those uh, better shader models. I didn't think he was going to go that way. I didn't expect that. Let's just do this, though. <gasps> Got that man. Alright, we might have to do some killing in this level. I know, I remember uh, Soul was the last level we did, and, and uh, we, we went pretty loud there, so we're not gonna, not gonna go quite that crazy again, but, uh, but we might, we might do some, uh, some murder in, in this level, if we gotta, if that guy gets stuck, well that's shitty. Nice. 
All right, we got these guys. So I think there was like a sneaky way to do this part where you don't even have to... Uh, unfortunate position there. I think there was a really sneaky way to do this part where you don't even have to uh, engage the guards, but... I don't really care that much. Yeah. Took them out. Good work, Fisher. That's the first phone line. See if you can tap into the rest. There's a way to get... Oh yeah, it's here. This is a way we could have gone up above to ignore all these guys. We basically just need to get to the other end of this street. But there's really only like two guys, so... I just went ahead and took care of it. But... Actually... How the hell do you get down from here? Without taking a ton of damage. Because dropping all the way down there is going to hurt me. Oh, yeah, 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 here. And then you're supposed to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this anyway, but I figure I'll show it to you guys since uh, I know about it. The, in 4K and with this new this improved shader model, it's amazing to me how well this game's visuals hold up. Like, this game looked incredible at the time, but it is a 13-year-old game, and I actually am still enjoying its look, which is crazy. Like, it still, it doesn't look, I'm not going to say it doesn't look dated, but it does not look bad. It has a fucking vibe that, like, has stood the test of time. That's pretty cool. Wow. Alright, anyway. Yep, point is, we're supposed to get to the end of the street, and we're gonna head down under under the bathhouse here. This is our way in. Okay. Just a reminder, Sam. You'll have some civilians in the bathhouse. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Be more than careful. Be Gandhi. Yes, sir. Alright. So we're supposed to nuke everyone, right? This is my understanding as a uh, Civ player, is that that's what that means. Just deploy a nuclear weapon inside this bathhouse. Alright, we're in. Here's the basement. Central, this is 7. Yeah, okay. Seven out. You're about to turn on the lights. Don't do Let's that. Let's do this the easy way. Give me a small piece of useful intelligence, and in return, I won't kill you. That sounds more than fair. What can I tell you? How many men you have here? Oh, actually, I have no idea. Shetland organized us like a flash mob. We were scattered all around Tokyo. The call came. We all showed up with our own part of the plan. Interesting. I was just supposed to come and secure this basement. I didn't even know there would be others here. Never mind how many. Low-level tasking and high-level governance means none of us even needs to know the details of an operation. So everyone's operating in complete ignorance. That sounds like some Nazi shit. Doug Shetland's running a, uh, a fucked up enterprise. Alright. I like to keep my people stupid. That way nobody knows what's happening. I was gonna say, it's either like Nazis or like Apple. <laughs> computer. <laughs> it's one or the other. One of those. Oh, if I remember correctly, there's a guy sitting in here. Yep, in that chair over there. Y'all see him? Right, let's... Here's a fun thing. Come over into this corner. You've got to keep my eyes wide open. very bright so it's easy for him to see us if we move out too far 
So we're gonna stop that fan. But he doesn't react. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna knock out the fan one more time once it turns back on. And I'll save. Stupid damn thing is broken. Perfect. Sweet. Fisher, those guys don't look Japanese to me. Yeah, expensive suits cut wide in the shoulders. They're packing for sure. Exactly. I make them for displays, trying to keep a low profile. Makes sense. Doug knows how to stay discreet when it's necessary. That's such a cool effect with the fan blowing that. Really neat. Alright, let's keep this basement dark. Fisher, in order to figure out who Shetlin is meeting with, you'll need to head up into the private offices. Check upstairs, to the north of your position, and past reception. On my way. Okay. We are getting sound, right? Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Uh oh. Hey, what? Fuck. I did that really badly. Fisher, in order to figure out who Shetlin is meeting with, you'll need to head up into the private office. Check upstairs to the north of your position and past reception. On my way. Hmm. What is that? Okay, he sort of looked, he saw me. See if we can snag this dude, though. Ooh, it's bright in here. Why are these lights out? Who's there? Turn the other way. Turn the other way. Turn the other way. Uh oh. What the hell? Holy crap. Uh, who, what? Tell me anything you can about the area you're oh. guarding. Uh, the lobby and upper offices are to the north. The baths themselves are to the south. Wow. You're pretty spineless. A lot of people say I'm too nice. Maybe that's why they never let me guard an area alone. There's also some sake in the kitchen. Good stuff. Sake? I'm not a very good mercenary. It's sake, you motherfucker. Pronounce it right, you disrespectful bastard. Where's Mr. Civvy going? We're gonna knock him out, too. I'm taking no chances. Where's he going? Is he headed out? Where are you going? Where are you going? Heading down to another hall. Perfect. I saw something there. Fuck. Oh shit, he's behind the desk. I thought he went down the hall. Dang, I thought I had time.
it out. Oh, I detached that curtain. Neat. Oh shit. God dang it, now he saw me. Come on. Alright, let's do it this way. Attach that curtain. Sweet. Good music in this level, too. Alright, we're gonna toss this dude down here. closet. Perfect. Sorry, Mr. Civilian. Ooh, there's a shortcut there. That's good stuff. Okay. Okay, we can head through there in a sec. Attach our curtains here. Okay, there's no computer behind this desk. We'll get some baths. And, okay. Hmm. Our level is split up. Oh gosh, this map is so unusable. I don't know how to rotate. Oh, right click. Okay. Didn't think to try that. clear on what I'm looking at. Let's try taking that vent. There's two ways forward out of here. I'm guessing the vent goes forward to that direction. Let's see. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. So it was really cool so far already. Is the upstairs secure? Yeah. Might be some red mission guys up in the private rooms, but I didn't disturb them. How about the front? It's tight. A truck is blocking the alley and I sent the guys unloading it for a coffee break. Which guys? Just some guys. Worker guys. What? You just said, hey, why don't you guys take a break and they did? Well, I gave them a hundred thousand yen. Oh, okay. Well, don't forget to expense that. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, they're leaving. Can we access this computer out here? Yeah. Email. Private room security camera. That's upstairs on the second floor, it looks like. There's a civilian. Okay. Good to know. Damn it! Son of a bitch. I'm forgetting the controls, guys. It's been a while. Wow, that's fast. 
Wow, that's fast. Why is it not working now? Oh, God. Got it. I did it, like, with that by eye. Whew! Sable camera system. There's a guy going upstairs. Oh. Okay, sweet. As soon as I come out of there, I did the exact wrong time. Uh, I don't like where that's gone. I wonder if I can grab one of these guys. What's up? Are more gonna come or just him? Since I whistled. I think it might just be him. What's up? Thanks for joining me. You know what I'm after. Probably Shetland. Everyone else seems to be. Where is he? He's meeting someone in the private baths at the back. Not sure who. Not exactly sure when. But soon. What's his escape plan if something were to go wrong? I don't know. But I'd bet on helicopter extraction from the roof. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. You're playing a da Whatever, bro. You can hang out in this utility closet. Actually, I just remembered. I want to save my sticky shockers for later in this mission. I shouldn't be using them that early. Gotcha. Yeah, good music. Darkness. All right. Nice. We're gonna do some tricky shit. We're gonna head outside. 
This is the front of the bathhouse, if I remember correctly. I think the only guy out there was that guard that we just got rid of. Yes. So now what we can do, that we're out here, Okay, this guy's gonna come in, and we're not gonna be able to pull him out the window because we're not allowed to kill guys that are civilians. I don't know if that's gonna kill him, but I don't wanna risk it. I forgot he goes to sleep here. He went straight to sleep too. I had no chance to react to that. I can't believe he didn't see us. All right, but I don't want to deal with this. So let's see, can we? Yep, great. Okay, now he's super unconscious. God, this is some Montauban music. So good, man. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it. I screwed that up. He really only goes to the top of the stairs there. Knock that guy out. What's up, bro? Got your boy? Oh, the shadows. So dramatic. Alright, you can hang in here with this dude by the light switch. So basically what we did is we went outside and went upstairs via that uh, outdoor ledge. And we're going to now sneak into this manager's office here. I don't know where we get the key code from. switch for that light. I don't know. So this basically just comes back around. Yep. Sweet. Alright, let's go hack this keypad. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Huh. Huh. Ah. Uh something blocking it. Alright, the camera's off. That's that camera dis we disabled earlier. Shetland's meeting in the private baths in the back of the bathhouse in a little while. Who's he meeting? Red Nishin, from the looks of it. Cohen was right. 
The bathhouse owner is pretty high up in the Japanese mob. I don't know. That doesn't sound like Shetland style. Well, unless you find something to the contrary, it looks like a solid lead to me. I'll keep sniffing around. All right, so now our mission is to eavesdrop on Shetland's meeting before the ISDF takes him down. He's in the private baths, meeting with the Red Nation, which is the Japanese Mafia. I don't know if that's a real group. It might be. All right. Fisher, those two uh -oh. are in this place. Whoa. ISDF assault troops. What is ISDF doing here? Maybe the Red Nation has sold Shetland out to the ISDF. Eavesdrop on that meeting and figure out what's going on before ISDF blows this up. How are we going to stop them? I'll get on the horn with Admiral Otomo and make sure we're all on the same page. I shadowed that to you. The Red Nation doesn't have that kind of technology. And Shetland, you don't think... Should we tell Canada? No. There is no way Shetland had time. Besides, we are in a hurry. Somebody in the chat asks, uh, sorry, I didn't see this before. Is this why you're always late to work? Uh, nah, it's more, that's more by choice. That's a, that's a totally preventable problem that I have that I just don't address on a uh, consistent basis, you know? What's up, Ninja Boy? What are you guys doing here? How did you get here? I don't know, but I your friend can't hear me. Answer. We... we are here to monitor the meeting with Shetland. Hey. Who gave the orders? I am following the orders hey. of a man named Kaneda. Hey. But he's someone's pawn. He's not even a real military. Kaneda, huh? Thanks. You're gonna take a nap now. I'm getting called out. All right, let's take this guy down in a good way. You ready? We could totally just grab him. You know what's better than grabbing fools? Putting this dude's head through his monitor. Go! <laughs> uh, there's the little airfoil right round that we hit him in the head with on the seat. That's such a cool detail. Man, I love this game. That's so good. Alright, so we knocked out the Japanese guys. Turns out the Information Self-Defense Force is here in the bathhouse, which is a plot twist. What are they doing here? Got their orders. Okay, here's a preview of where we're headed. This is one of the bathhouses. Mm. Okay, I don't see anything relevant. That's bath, private bath security camera B. Okay. <laughs> I know who it is in the chat. I know this person. You don't fool me. Alright. So let's see here. What we got? Goals. We're even shopping on the meeting. We figured out who gave the ISDF their assault orders. Someone named Kaneda. Alright, cool. It's all good. I'm like scrambling some radio signals in here, doing some serious stuff. Shut down their shit. I want this whole bathhouse dark. All the rooms, total darkness. Okay, we can't get back out because that they barricaded this room. It's kind of a secret. I, you don't even have to go in there, so it's like you. It's actually a preview of uh, what our final level is going to be. So, pretty cool that we found it. Actually, darkness. All right, cool. Oh no, light! I hate light. Gotta get rid of this goddamn vending machine too. That's one way to do it, Sam. It's blowing out lights, left and right. So here's our supply closet. And we've made a loop now. 
so. Let's keep it up. Alright, we're headed to the baths now. Time for the good stuff. Locker rooms. Uh oh. Alright, I've got an idea for how to. Oh! He's going somewhere. Is that gonna see me in here? Perfect. What are you doing here all alone? Jesus! Oh, please! What's past the locker rooms? Uh, the car door! To the right is the public baths. To the left is the pool. But the pool is being repaired. Thanks for the info, but I'm not here for a swim. The baths are well defended. Uh, the pool? I don't know if anyone is in there. That's better. Now you're getting it. Please. I've been afraid of locker rooms since I was a boy. Oh. That's... Yo. That's... That's fucking dark, man. I feel bad about choking you out now, bro. <laughs> Solidarity, yo. I understand. That was not a good time in high school, man. Locker room's no good. I feel, I feel bad for that guy now. I feel... Oh, oh man, look at that. Real-time reflections. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at... Ninja. The shoot, yeah. Sam Fisher. All right. Bathroom one, bathroom two. Okay, here we go. We got the pool to the left, the bass to the right. I think this is a pure choice about which way to go. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the pool way. Let's try this. Oh, you, re you guys ready for some cool effects? Oh, oh, so good. Here's another one. We're going to cut into it. It's closed for construction. That means... Oh. You know, I haven't been looking out for those phone lines for Cohen, so I don't know... I haven't seen any lately. <laughs> Dude's like, too bad the pool's empty. I'd love to go swimming. Alright. That generator's below me, right? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I get smoked. Draining your shit, boys. You can never be too suspicious. Yeah, you might want to be suspicious because this whole place went dark. Ha! Oh no, did he see me from above? Ah, uh, he was right up there. What a punk. That's bullcrap. You don't know where I was. It off now, Pearson. Now you can't switch it back on. Are you not good? Let's just stay calm. Let's mess with these guys. Yeah, yeah, get smacked. Yeah, what was that, man? What was it, bro? Hey! What was it? What's up? What was it? Let's mess with this guy some more. Now we're home free to just... What's up, bro? Come into the shower with me. Sweet. Cleared it out. Yeah, water. So in the, uh, fun fact, in the GameCube version of this game, which I have actually played back in the day, that was the first way I played it, it's very different, um, there are little pools in this bathhouse, and there's a special move that's exclusive to the GameCube version. I think maybe the PS2 version as well, I think they're the same. Um, you can hang out in water, and if a guy comes near, you can grab him, and you'll reach up and basically just drown him in the pool of water. Uh, it's a cool, lethal move that's not in the Xbox or PC versions. Kind of neat. But, uh, yeah. Fun fact. Alright, I guess the pools were just a place to cut through on our way to this cold bath. Okay. Sam Fisher, and I clipped through walls. Whoa! You scared me there for a second. Sorry. Visibility in here is terrible. Something goes down next to a possible to fight. Oh, yeah, as the steam picks up in here, you can move in light. Maybe if we had thermal, I guess we just have to rely on our ears. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. See? I don't hear so good. You were with the villagers in Mogadishu? Uh, no, I was, uh, Oh, okay. Forget I oh, this level is cool, man. There's so many alternate paths. Whoa. Look at that lighting. Man, this game is dope, man. Holy hell. This game is really good. <laughs> Uh, it's held up. Some of the level design stuff is still really great. Alright, what are we looking at here? Alright. Let's see how this goes. We're bypassing a lot of stuff, which I kind of don't want to do. That? Kinda... Oh, that's not good. Alright.
<laughs> that works. Uh-oh. What? Why was that one off? Oh, what the hell? Alright, I don't know what's going on there. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Here these guys go. Oh, no, 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 why? What is that? Ah, oh, come on, man. At least I quick saved at the perfect time. I can get up out of here. Am I seeing things? He saw me at like the perfect time when he would be able to see me. What the? Uh oh. Jeez. Okay. Ah, I wonder if I can time this right and do it. If I move quick enough. Damn it! Hold on, I'll try this. Pay attention to that. I don't know what you're up to, but you better come out of there. Get down! That didn't work. All right, whatever. Hold on. God, how do I do this? Let's try it the other way. Let's do the inverse. Get into darkness here. He's like looking right here. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> that shortcut made this whole area harder, <laughs> I feel like. Although, I don't know, it's pretty brightly lit. Alright, I'm really tired of this light. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit to see. I don't I don't wanna miss stuff. So Oh! Oh uh, see that wasn't even a shortcut, it took us backwards. This is the dry bath, which is where we avoided by going through the pool. So we actually just went back. We we basically were able to skip this room. We had to do this room or the pool. But the shortcut took us backwards. Okay. Okay, I see. So this is... Oh, massage. So, let's see if we can get a massage from this guy. Hey, mister. Hey. Hey. Do you give massages? <laughs> ah! God damn it, Fisher. Stab him. No. <laughs> we we can never know what happened here. Ah. 
There isn't really a good way to... Let's do this. What? Okay, that's just a bug. Oh, I guess it didn't go far enough. Dang it. I keep having to reload too much. Let's use our last airfoil round on him. Let's just do that. That would be simple. I'm bad at this game, guys. Oh, wait. Is he walking over here? Also, I think this dude, yeah, this dude straight up has ammo in here. <laughs> yeah, nice massage parlor. Fucking ammunition in your massage parlor. It's for that deep relaxation. Alright, let's... Uh-oh. Where are these guys freaking out at? Is it up this hallway? What the hell? That footstep jarred him that much? Okay, hang on. I wonder what they're freaking out about. Oh my god! Seriously? What are they so jumpy from? Did they find a body? I really hope not. Oh, did they find the trap door? That shouldn't be enough to make them that suspicious. Okay, I guess let's wait until the steam picks up. Oh, my lighting changed. Let's change it back real quick. Is this steam going to pick up in here? I don't know why these guys are so on edge. I hope they didn't find a body. Is he coming? There he is. All right, I'll admit it. I'm scared. Ooh, made a noise. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Damn, I knew I'd get caught in here. Tough break, pal. Tell me something I don't know. Well, our thermal vision kit didn't get distributed yet, so we can't see for crap. 
and some of the guys that came in with Shetland. I think they're fully equipped. Shetland's personal bodyguards have thermal? I think so. Not that it does much good in steam. Ah, shit. Steam isn't fog, like in an abattoir or something. Steam is warm, just like human bodies. Good point. Thanks for the explanation. Anytime. I can't hear too good either. Not because of the steam, though. Oh, well, you heard me just fine. Um, so, um, that's actually a reference to the first Splinter Cell when he says, you know, steam is heat, not like an abattoir. Because in the first Splinter Cell, you go to the abattoir. You guys remember if you watch my videos. You have to use thermal in there to see because you can't see through normal vision because it's so much fog. So you use thermal to see the bad guys in there. Uh, this is the inverse where you can kind of see in normal vision, but uh, the guys have thermal. But if you're in the uh, if you're in the steam, they're blind to you basically. All right, sweet. Now we've got that good darkness. All right, I don't remember. I don't know which way is the best way to go. This is towards the pool, right? Looks familiar, this broom in this hallway. Yeah, this is the pool. Okay. Too bad we didn't get to use a split jump here. There's all these perfect hallways for it. Check it out. Split jump shit, and then you can drop on their heads, but... Just didn't really have a good opportunity for it. All right, steam bath. Here we go. Oh, turret. Uh oh. I don't. I think we need to wait on the steam here. But let's see. I'm not entirely sure why everybody's on such alert, but they are. They might all be like this by default in here, I can't remember. Okay. Let's, let's bust this out. Shit. What was that? Oh, perfect. Yeah, come in here, bro. That's actually great. I would love to go ahead and deal with you. I like how this registers as total darkness in this level, but it's definitely still very visible. Nothing. Oh. Better that way. Oh. Oh. He can't see me, so this works. Bye, boy. That quick thinking. Alright. I was wondering how we were going to get past this turret, but I totally forgot about the, uh, the uh, uh, OP whatever. The EMP on my pistol. Alright, here we go. Oh, does that not work? Could have sworn you could... Oh, wait, 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 no. I don't think you can, but... No, you can't. But... And not that. Okay, wait, hang on. I think I know what I need to do. Oh, the valve. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. Steam. And steam is heat, so... And the turret is thermal, right? So I should be able to... Yeah! Sweet. Yeah, hot bath. Awesome, man. Yeah, turn that thing off. This totally is a callback to like the avatar from... from Splinter Cell 1. That's so cool.
Although I think it's only that one room. Yeah. That's fine by me because I don't particularly like uh, that part in Splinter Cell 1. <laughs> Somebody's out there. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. Well, no, not restart mission. Ugh, I hate saves coming this much. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna wait here. Nope. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna wait until he gets over to this candle and then I'm gonna grab him. So these are the... Are these more of the ISDF dudes? Gotcha. Oh, I can't even interrogate this one. Oh, here's one of the phone lines. I've been totally missing these. I wonder if we should backtrack and get some. I think I'm going to backtrack. It won't take long. Totally forgot about these. Way to go, Sam. Cohen says there's one more phone line she'd like you to tap. Oh, just one? Okay, hang on. I think it's back in the pool. I could be wrong. There's only three in this whole level? I'm pretty sure it's back in the pool. I should be able to go back there pretty quickly. We've knocked everybody out, so I can just sprint. I'm trying to remember, is the pool across this way? This is the pool, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it's in here. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. That's it over there, right? Yep. Cool. See, the advantage of there being no load screens in these missions is you can't really miss this stuff. It's all open. That's the last phone line, Fisher. Cohen sends her thanks. Tell her it was my pleasure. Sweet. Did it. Best ninja. Okay, so now we still just need to eavesdrop on Shetland, and we're good. Yeah, this mission is good, man. This is There's a lot going on here. This is uh, really cool. Lots of neat little shortcuts and alternate paths and all kinds of stuff. Alright. Oh, I remember this. There's a way to bypass all this, but I can't remember if you should.
don't know if you guys picked up on that, but there's a little dialogue line where they say that there's a, uh... There's a vent nearby that overlooks the room, and he needs to sweep it. Or block it off or something, before the meeting. So that's exactly what we're gonna exploit. feeling he was going for the candle. I got his guns just laying in there. Nobody's gonna know. Now, is this all lit from this one candle? Blow it. How about uh, lights? So normally, when I would previously play this game, there's a quick way to bypass like all this. All this area is like optional. But uh, I'm gonna explore it just because I don't remember any of it. Right, where's this door? Oh, stall door. Okay. Ooh. Yep, total save scum. That guy might not move. Here's what we'll do. Let's blow that out, and let's head down this way. Yeah. He's at the other end of this hall. There's the vent we need to hit up. Oh, yeah, he saw me all the way down that hall. I wasn't sure if he was going to. That's the vent we need to enter, but we're not going to be able to do it right now with him standing in our way. Yeah, what is it, man? I can see myself down at the end of the hall. Bye, boy! Blow that shit up. Damn it! Come out here and fight like a man! He's gonna find that body. Man. Uh. Ooh, wait, that works. Yeah, come all the way down here. So that's the bathroom we need to get into to spy on to the left there, if I remember correctly. So let's just let this guy come in. And then... Tell me about your fallback defenses. What? Who the... Calm down. Just tell me what I want to know. I... Ah, okay. The, the plan is, if something goes wrong, to choke off the back hallway. Why? 
Shatland has a helicopter circling. It can pick him up on three minutes' notice. If we're compromised, we just need to defend the perimeter until he's clear. Where will the chopper touch down? On the roof. Through the maintenance corridor, past the private showers. Okay, so that's where we're going to need to go after the meeting. Alright, now that we cleared up that part, I'm going to kind of black out this whole hallway to the extent that I can. Let's not be too loud in here. Let's just blow out all this lighting here. Some of this is indestructible because it's coming in from whatever those like windows are. But... Should be able to block out this whole hallway. If I remember right, once some shit's gonna go down, there's gonna be a firefight out here. And now that we've gotten rid of that guy, are there other ways to spy on this meeting besides the vent? Or ooh, oh, that's crazy. anyone is spying on Shetland's meeting. No, I don't think so. Well, I guess I'll have to do it then. Good night. Uh, good night. And the stupid insurance application is sitting on my desk. What? Uh, I, I'm a nobody. And the stupid insurance application is sitting on my desk. Cool. Well, here's my little uh, pile of bodies. <laughs> my body room. Welcome. Please enjoy. I'm clearing everything out for future reference. So, do you have to use the vent? Now I'm curious, because I cleared out the whole rest of the hall, more or less. I want to see. So let's blow out this candle. So the, the room they're using is this here. What happens if you just fucking walk in? Wasn't there a camera in here that we saw earlier? Huh. So this just straight up doesn't work. Cool. Oh wait, no, that's the vent I'm supposed to take. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm remembering this. So where does the other vent go? Oh, the other vent just cuts in from here. Okay. Okay, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, we blacked out everything. And then this vent just goes, oh, nice, okay. This is just a, oh, right, right, right. This is just a way you can bypass like all those guys. Cause then you can go down through here and then under the thing and then kinda up onto it. And then the way we need to go is... We need to go this way. Alright. Let's do it, guys. Let's see what the... What the plot has in store. I used to know this mission... The level design of this one a lot better. I've forgotten a lot. Lambert, ISDF is in the building. Are they making their move? It's all clear. 
I haven't been able to contact Otomo. I don't know what's going on. Wait a minute. Yes. This will do just fine. I told you I've taken care of everything. We're secure. Uh-oh, Shetland. Jesus, Lambert. SDF isn't here to take Shetland down. They're meeting with him. They're his partners. My God. Stay there. We need to hear oh, the details man. before we go to the Joint Chiefs with this. You did not bring them? I am not going to follow you across Tokyo. Relax, Kaneda. I'll just down Ah, the there's Kaneda. Ha! Huh. You take me for a fool. You are not stupid enough to download them over a public network. What are you up to? I said relax. You're right. I'm not that stupid. My men just finished setting up a shadow here. Completely secure wireless, discreet from the web. Now sit. You'll have your algorithms in about four minutes. Call it! Lambert. Let it go, Fisher. We know the truth. We'll pick up the pieces after the dust settles. Save it, Kanade. I've seen it before. You're defending your honor to cover up your lies. Should I check the account, or should we start shooting and see who walks out of here? Kanida! That's the wall! Uh, oh, no! No, no! Please! We can work this out! Oh, shit. We're switching the fallback. Chopper's on its way. Good. Secure this area. No one comes through. Yes, sir. Fisher? Kill Shetland. I know. Oh, shit. What's our goal? Eliminate Shetland. Time to meet your maker. Oh, gunfire. It's popping off, boys. Oh. Now we're going to use this Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. I forgot they got thermal. Dang. So shooting all these lights is not going to help. Oh, they can already... Oh, okay. This is going to be tough on hard mode. I don't really remember where I'm supposed to go. We just like rolled our way through there. There's a camera? What the hell? Oh shit. Yeah! Missed me. We're just running. We're just running. We're doing this. Oh! <laughs> uh, the 
the wall mine. Oh my god. Alright, let's try something. Alright, this isn't the most stealthy thing, but we're doing it. Oh! Damn it. This is tough. Specifically on hard mode. Wow, dude. We're just running, we're just doing this. <laughs> this is all gonna work out. Oh! Come on. Alright. I got I got I got one more idea. Here's what we're gonna do. Can we actually... No, that doesn't work. But, what we can do... I got a couple ideas. I know what we'll do. Hold on. Get knifed. All right, we're gonna pop a save here. Oh, come on, got him. Whoa! Alright. Get nice. Oh, come on. That sort of worked though. Like uh. Oh my god! He Why? Oh. Hard mode just makes the firefights so tough.
Got that guy. Okay, we're gonna save. Is he coming to investigate? Or do we get him? Oh, we got him. Nice. Whew. Good God, man. wasn't even really the hard part. There's a harder part coming up. Oh, gosh. What a mess. Okay, so... I don't remember if there's any, like, Easter egg or anything or any reason to go in this room, but let's check it out real quick. Let's uh, EMP this camera. Oh, there's some stuff. Flashbang. Frag. 5.56. Oh, hold on. I need to reset. Mm. Okay, this went longer than I thought it would. Chaos theory objective. What did that end up saying? Sir, I have completed installation of the requested algorithms and installed the required software in order to maintain operation security. All that is required is entry of the tasks and subtasks and allocation of the number of assets and execution time and location. The algorithm will then generate the mission plan and contact your men remotely when needed. All right, whatever that means. Oh yeah, all mine. Oop. That was very scary before. Oh shit. Alright. All right, let's see how this goes. That's going to go terribly. Ricochet on the thing. Shit is going. What is the stealthy way to do this, if anything? Hmm. Actually, wait. I've got an idea. They can't see me yet. Uh. Did they really not react to that?
All right. Oh, did that light uh, actually get hit? Wow, these guys are super dumb. They didn't even react. Incoming! I've lost them! Oh, they have the thermals, so it's not gonna matter. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't know if he could see me through the column. Man, this is brutal. They have goggles too. You can see, so it can see in the dark. Smoke grenades conceal movement. Okay, okay. Smoke grenades, got it. Okay, let's see if that works. I don't, on hard mode, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think, like, I have enough smoke grenades to really, like, actually do much here. Because I'd have to... Here's what I could do, though. That I think could potentially... Does that not go far enough? Man, this is rough. Uh... What if I just Get do the frag grenade there. perfectly? We're gonna try something different. God, you have to be right on top of them to do that, huh? Man. What if I do this? I'm assuming they have gas masks. So this isn't working. It's coming fuck. Okay, man. Let's keep this order. You can hold your breath for such a little time. Easy there. Hold your fire there. Hold your cover. Let's try this instead. Hold up, man. Hold fire. Little covering fire here. Hold up, man. Down. We've got it. 
Oh, come on. God, dude, your poking is like so fast. Oh my god. That's insane how quickly. Got him. Had to go early. Oh my gosh. Is this the last use? Oh, it is. Okay. Dude! Oh, <laughs> this part is terrible. Uh, yes, there is a version of this game on the GameCube. You've encountered me at a very difficult time. A very difficult time in my life. Um, whew. I, there is no way to get these guys' attention off of here. And I can't gas them. There's very little I can do. So let's just try this. Let's see how many I can get with that. Did I get two of the dudes with that? I think I might have. Okay, I think I finally got it. Did I get everybody? Yes. Got that guy. Blasted that dude. Blasted that dude. Awesome. Alright, let's quick save. Wow, that was really, really difficult. I wonder if there's a trick to that at all. Because that was kind of insane. And the part I remember of this level that's really hard is still coming up. We're headed down into the furnace room. And this shit is not easy from what I remember. Alright, more wall mines. I'm probably gonna have to exploit these to finish these dudes off coming up. Oh. There's Shetland. Okay. This is pointless, Sam. You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. I remember this. Mason and Lambert have you wrapped oh. around their fingers, Fisher. You're no more to them than any other weapon.
Oh, okay. I see what to do. Okay. Oh! Yeah, I, I see what I, I need to do now. Okay. All right, let's slow up and get this wall mine. And then I'll, let's pop a quick save so we don't have to do that again. Okay. This is pointless, Sam. You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. Let's see if this works. Doug, we're coming for you. Mason and Rabbit have you wrapped around mm. your fingers, Fisher. You know more to them than any other weapon. Did that get the guy, or what did that get? I set that up. Yep. Sweet. Gotcha, boy. Blasted your ass back down the stairs. Where this next guy's spawning. This thing is stuck. I'm going through. Oh shit. You've made yourself the instrument of a policy you don't believe in, Sam. Walk away. I'm coming for you. Alright. All right. There's gonna be one more. I think I might be able to get all of them. Well, I only got two wall mines, but. Mason and Lambert have you wrapped around their fingers, Fisher. Nothing. No more to them than any other Better weapon. Is he not gonna trigger it this time? Is he moving too slow? What made him trigger it last time? He's just moving too slow this time. Wow. This is pointless, Sam. You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. You know it's there. Shit. Forget it. No more to them than any other weapon. 
Dang, dude. That's one way to do it. a way to handle it. I just have like no health left and there's a third guy I'm pretty sure. You've made yourself the instrument of a policy you don't believe in, Sam. Walk away. Oh, I forgot a guy kicks open the door right behind him. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay. This is pointless, Sam. You won't know what to do if you catch me. Why bother chasing? My God, Fisher! Shetland has rigged the place to blow. There are bombs hidden in the furnace room. You'll have to find them all and fast. Alright, we got this this time. Right. Knocked out the first one. Mason and Lambert have you wrapped around their fingers, Fisher. And no more to them than any other weapon. Alright. I might save scum a little bit on this one this time. Whoa. Weird bug. Okay. He's just stuck in the animation. Glad I'm safe's coming. Oh, is it just gonna keep doing that? Great. Alright. That could become a problem. That's okay. We'll make it in time. See if we get that guy. Wilson. You've made yourself the instrument of a policy you don't believe in, Sam. Walk away. All right, let's try some saves coming. What? What was that? Is there another guy? Nothing. 
What in the hell, man? Why don't they trigger the mine? Oh, great. The second I start safe scumming, it bugs up and screws me. Dude, come on, man. Oh, of course, the mine doesn't work now. How? Where? He saw me from there? Oh my god. They're so sensitive. This is insane. We still had our frag to throw at that door. Blood is thicker than water, and you and I have bled a lot together. You're trading your honor for their agenda. Did I get him? Looks like he dropped his gun. Yep, we got him. Sweet. Let's do it. We're home free, boys. Oh shit! Fight! It doesn't have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. On that, we agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Bishop. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory, throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better. Because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals. It's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. about as good as I remember the end of that mission. The, the combat part is frustrating, mainly because I'm playing on hard mode. But, um, and there's not really a sneaky way to do that with their night vision, or thermal, I guess. But, uh, 
Yeah, that showdown with Shetland is good. I remember his speech being cool when I was a kid, and it's actually, it's, it's not bad. Um, this game is better written than I think it gets credit for. Um, it's mostly vanilla, like, spy intrigue stuff and not anything too crazy, but, you know, it was pretty good. And I like the whole, you're right, I wouldn't shoot an old friend. I love it because it's it's kind of a double entendre because in that moment when they give you control, uh, I lowered the pistol because I always liked the idea that he he would give Doug one last chance and then the second he went for his gun, he would be like, all right, and then just knife him. Um, and so the line makes sense there. He's like, I wouldn't shoot an old friend. I stabbed you <laughs> and threw you through a balcony window or uh, through, a, through, a, through a skylight. Uh, but, uh, if you shoot him, uh, it also makes sense because he's basically saying, I wouldn't shoot an old friend as in you aren't my friend anymore. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. God, that mission's awesome. Oh, that was tough though. Holy shit. <laughs> I knew that end part was going to be rough, but I didn't think it would be that difficult. Ooh. Whew. Maybe I should have looked up some pro strats beforehand or something. Hell, I bet our statistics are going to be terrible. 59%. Seven times identified as an intruder. I killed 10 people. Knocked out four civilians. No bodies found or alarms triggered, though. I don't know how that's possible because literally the two guys who walked into the uh, the boiler room at the end, like the double, the pair in the middle of that fight, walked right over the guy's body who got blown up with the wall mine. He must have landed just enough in shadow off to the side that they walk right past him. Crazy. Whew. Man, that was tough. And I will say, this game has a sort of... I would consider this probably like the final mission of Chaos Theory because it's, it's, the, it's the big finale with the big finish and it's like a really brilliant mission. So we got one more, but it, I kind of consider it more of an epilogue. Uh, so in that mission, we figured out the ISDF was going after, uh, I was working with Shetland, so we got to go after them now. So here's this final level, load it up. Japanese Defense Ministry uh, on Tokyo Bay, Tokyo, Japan. Admiral Otomo and the Japanese ISDF are responsible for working with Douglas Shetland to push the Korea's and the United States into war. It must be determined if Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government, and Otomo must be stopped. Kokubo Sosho biometric scanners cannot be hacked. Okay, final level. Events today jeopardized diplomatic efforts when North Korean armor encountered a so-called self-healing minefield while attempting to withdraw from the area. North Korean forces were adequately cautioned that self-healing minefields along the DMZ should not be considered cleared obstacles. We're back at the brink of war and now we find out it is the Japanese? The Japanese are allies. I don't care if they're the Christmas elves. They sank the Walsh. We don't know that their government was involved. We know Admiral Otomo was involved and we know where the gentleman is. We have to go in now, immediately. The fact is, we don't know how far the conspiracy goes. If Otomo's actions are sanctioned <laughs> by the Sit Japanese down, John Bolton. <laughs> then the only solution is military. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> foaming at the mouth well. for uh, a war. Your man again? He's already in position. Send him in. <laughs> the State Department Jeez. has lost contact with all of the U.S. officers who work at the Kokubo Sosho with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. It looks like the SDF have taken them prisoner refusing to answer our calls. In typical fashion, the Japanese are circling their wagons. Either they're afraid to admit they've lost control of Otomo, or they're actually sanctioning him. If that's the case, we'll have to come clean with North Korea, which will spark a massive war in Asia. If not, we need to find out what our officers know and figure out what to do about Otomo before North Korea finds out what's going on. Sam, even if the Japanese government is not sanctioning him, Otomo still clearly has the capacity to strike. If he's still in control of the information arm of the SDF, you'll need to deal with him very carefully. There's no telling what kind of havoc he could unleash. Last contact we had with any U.S. personnel in the Kokubo Sosho was a fragment of a phone call from Major Harper, a logistics advisor to GSDF. From the sounds of the call, the room he was in was raided by Japanese troops and he was taken prisoner. 
It doesn't sound like anyone has been killed. And if there's any hope of maintaining peaceful relations with the Japanese, you're going to have to keep it that way. All right. Whew, we definitely should have gone with assault for that last mission, given how uh, messy the end of that got. This one is uh, not that way, I believe, so... I actually think I am going to go with Redding's recommendation. And he gives you a lot of stuff here, looks like. Yep, let's do it. Cash those shaders. Fisher, I can't stress this enough. If one Japanese soldier dies, we risk World War III. Any fatalities and I abort the mission immediately. I understand. Locate our officers and find out what the hell is going on there. I'll find them. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, guys, but uh, that's going to be it for part nine. Um, I, like I said, I've been, I've been doing these each in uh, one mission segments. I feel like Chaos Theories uh, break up better that way. Uh, than the prior Splinter Cells, where the mission length was kind of all over the place. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory is a pretty consistent... Each mission usually takes between 45 minutes and an hour. Uh, maybe a little over if you keep dying like I did in the last mission. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, people that did, uh, thank you to the chat. Appreciate you guys being patient with me as I save scummed my way through that. Uh, it, like I said, it's it's been many years since I've played this game, and I I probably beat it on hard back in the day, but I'm not positive. I usually would play on normal, um, and I've never played it on PC, so there's a whole new control s scheme that I'm kind of getting used to, and ah, whatever. I'm not making excuses. I'm also pretty bad, <laughs> but thank you guys, and uh, I will uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.